If you're looking for ideas for using ChatGPT in language teaching, then this is the video for you. This is gonna be really useful for teachers, but also for students. But what you're gonna see me do is not only do some very clever things with ChatGPT, but I'm gonna combine it with other free technologies to show you how you can produce audio and create games from ChatGPT uh, content as well. Really hope you like the video. As always, if you do, please like it, please share it, please comment on it, and of course, join me on my YouTube channel. I will organize a menu system so you can jump to different sections of the video. Let's get started. Let me show you how you can change a story that ChatGPT has written for you into a listening material to start with because this is so easy. So what I've done here, look at these instructions. In Polish, can you explain to me the history of Women's Day? Can you write it in Polish for an A level two student? Okay, now of course this could be in French or Spanish or Russian or etc. or English of course. And all I needed to do, and this is a good tip, copy from the bottom, okay, and come up to the top once uh, the story's been written. Copy the story. Now look what I'm gonna show you what we can combine ChatGPT with. So I've come over to a tool called Natural Readers. I'm just gonna delete what's on the screen there now. I'm gonna paste in that text uh, that was written. I'm gonna click up here, I'm gonna choose Polish. Notice we got loads of languages, but we're gonna use Polish for this one. And then I've actually got a choice of different voices, so I'm gonna use uh, Zofia. So I'm gonna click on Zofia, and now, this system will read out the story that ChatGPT has written for me. So all I need to do is click on this button here and it will read the text out. Dzień kobiet, znany również jako Międzynarodowy Dzień Kobiet, obchodzony jest 8 marca każdego roku. Święto to zostało zapoczątkowane w XIX wieku przez ruch sów... This is absolutely fantastic. So not only have you noticed here that you've got the text, but I can even follow the text here below and it shows me word by word what is being read. Now the great thing about natural readers is that there are masses of languages that you can work with. And if you're only using it for short text, then it's completely free. It includes Chinese, French, German, Hebrew, Korean, etc., etc. I'm gonna just show you some other things that we could do with ChatGPT and natural readers together. Now this is something that a lot of people don't understand but you're, or don't realize, but you can ask ChatGPT to format lists or questions in any way you want. For example here, and I'm gonna come back to this in a minute and show you a game that we can do with this, but I've asked for a list of words to do with tennis in Polish and then the, the obviously the equivalent in English. Of course, that could be in any language. It could be Spanish, French, German. And what I've also asked for though is the list separately. Now the reason I want the list separately is this, watch this, I'm just gonna copy these words. So I'm just gonna copy those 12 words. I'm gonna jump over to natural readers now. I'm just gonna delete what's on the screen, paste in the words, and now I can set it to Polish, which is already set to Polish anyway. Let's choose a different voice, we'll use Agnieszka, and then we can listen to Agnieszka pronouncing these words for me. Now, of course, this could be sentences, which I often prefer, and we'll look at that in a minute, but very simple, now. Tenis, rakietka, piłka tenisowa, Kort tenisowy. This is so useful for me as a language learner, but this could be really useful for a teacher as well if they wanted to go through a list of words that they wanted the students to practice. And of course, as I've said, it doesn't have to be words, it could be sentences. Okay, so we've seen how we can link together ChatGPT and get it to work with natural readers to turn stories and lists of words and sentences and to be able to turn them into audio. Now, if you wanna learn more about natural readers, I'm gonna put a link on the screen now to a very popular video where I take you through natural readers in more detail. What I'm gonna do in the next part of this video is to start to look at how we can create games from content that we produce in ChatGPT. And the secret here is to tell ChatGPT how to format the content so that it's easy then to turn into a game. And I'm gonna show you some examples now. So what I asked ChatGPT to do here was simply to write a list of words in Polish to do with tennis and in, in the second column to give me the word 
in English so that I've got the translation. Now, the reason I ask for this is because, watch this, I can literally just copy those words. And now I'm gonna jump over to one of the most popular tools for creating games in English, which is called WordWall. So WordWall offers an incredible number of different games for language learners, not just one or two, but like 30 or different games. You can see how many resources are being produced. There's more than 56 million. And if I come over to create an activity, you get some sort of indication of the number of games that you can play. So this is great for language learning, and I use it all the time, both with my students, but also in my own language learning. Now, the one that I'm gonna go for is Match Up. So I'm gonna click on that, and this is where you match the words in English and the words in, in Polish, in my case. Uh, and all I can do now is just because I've already copied all those words, I can just paste in all the words in one go. And then instantly I've got the words ready. I'm going to just give it a title and I call this tennis. OK, so that obviously I'm trying to learn different words in, in Polish in, in tennis. And then what I'm going to do is watch this because it's another really useful thing. If you click here choose your language so in my case it's going to be polish i can actually click on generate tennis and then it will add the audio to the words as well I'll just do a couple for you i won't spend Rakietka. too much long so obviously you'd have to go through if you wanted to add all the audio and that could be in french or spanish or german or chinese or whatever language you're learning and then you click on done and the game is ready now let's just quickly play the game so you can see how the game works very simple game this one it just simply is that I've got to match the words, but notice some of the words have got audio included. So for example, I've got rakieta, and I can click on it. Rakietka. And then ra rakietka, sorry, I've said it wrong. Uh, that's one of the reasons why it's a good idea to have the pronunciation. And I've just got to basically drag all the words in, and then once I finish, I would submit the answers, and it's gonna tell me if I'm wrong or right. Now I'm going to show you some more ideas with WordWall, but if you want to learn it in detail, then I'm going to put a video on the screen now that you can click on that will go through WordWall right from the beginning, all the different games and different ways that you can set up activities. I'm going to carry on now with some more ideas working with ChatGPT and WordWall together. Now this next idea is going to, you're really going to see the power of WordWall and also ChatGPT. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ask ChatGPT, and I've already put the instructions in here, but I'm going to click on the button. I've asked it to use the vocabulary and to write me a story in Polish about playing tennis, uh, to write this story about a boy who's playing tennis and wants to join the tennis league so that he can improve his tennis. And I want, it, I want ChatGPT to use the vocabulary that I want to practice. So this is a really typical thing for me to do. I've got those keywords that I want to practice. And so a brilliant idea now is to put these words into a story. Now, one obvious thing that I'm going to do with this story is I'm going to put it into natural readers so that I can listen to the story being read out. But I could also use this story and put it into WordWall and create it into a game, okay? Now it's quite writing quite a long story. So one thing you can do with ChatGPT, if you think the story is too long, you can ask it, can you make this story a little bit shorter? And it will do that, yeah? So for example, this story here is quite long. Um, and I can just say to, I can say, can you write the same story, but slightly shorter and slightly easier Polish okay and it will reproduce that story for me but maybe in, an, in a shorter text and with easier Polish and that's one of the things that you've got to learn about ChatGPT to kind of have a conversation with it and ask it to change and adapt the material that you ask it to produce it, and it's done a really good job of that it's made the story a lot shorter but look what I can do now I'm going to copy that story okay it's made it a lot shorter and this is going to work really well I'm going to jump over now to uh, WordWall and in WordWall I'm going to click on create an activity I'm going to create a different type of activity now I'm going to do a missing words activity and we're going to call this one tennis story and then I'm going to paste in the story and this is what you can do which is really really useful you can then choose which words you want to make into a gap fill so i can click click on words that are to do with tennis that i want to practice okay so for example i'm going to choose uh trainera so i'm going to click on that word and add that as a 
turn into a gap seal. And I'm going to click on, um, I'm going to put leaguey. So he joins a tennis league. And I'm going to click on that word there. Again, this could be in any language. I'm doing this in Polish because this is the language that I'm studying, but this could be in English, in Spanish, in French, etc. And I'm going to click on the word vigrao because that means to win, and that's quite a useful word to practice. And then I'm going to come down here and uh, look on another word. Um, and we'll choose the words, okay, representovac, okay? Now, I'll just do one more. Um, I'll do a shongac success, to have success, to reach success. So, I'm going to click now on done. I've turned that into a gap fill activity. How does it work? Let's have a quick look. We'll click on the play button. We'll go full screen. And the idea, of course, is to read the text and to put the correct words in, okay? So I know that this one is, for example, Oshongnach, Oshongnach, Oshognonch success, okay? And then we've got here, Znalao, Trenera na lokalim korcie, okay, and do ligi tenisovi, etc. And then once I've finished, I won't finish now, I'm just going to click on the button just to show you. Give, give me feedback immediately on the activity. Now, just before I move on with some more ideas for word wall, I'm just going to point out to you that on the screen now is a video that you might be interested in. It's about using AI to study languages, and it's very similar to this video with lots of ideas around AI tools that we can use. Okay, in this next activity, what I, I want to show you is how we can, um, and it's interesting what I've done here. What I've asked for is I've asked for a series of nouns connected to tennis in Polish and a series of verbs. So again, this could be in any language that you want to practice. And what I've asked for is to give me these verbs uh, and these nouns, but with no translation. Now again, see what I can do here is that I can create a game. I'm going to click over on copy. I'm going to jump over again to WordWall. We're going to jump over to WordWall, we're going to click on Create Activity, and this time we're going to do Group Sort. And we're just going to paste all those words in, and of course all of those words are nouns. And what we're going to do here is just give it the title Nouns. Now we need to go back again to the um, ChatGPT and copy the second group, because the second group is going to be verbs. So let's quickly copy those. So back onto ChatGPT, I'm going to copy all of these verbs this time. I'm going to jump over again to WordWall. We're going to paste in all of the verbs. And then un uh, here, just going to add title verbs. And now we've got a grouping activity, just to quickly show you what that's going to look like. Don't forget, again, I could add in the audio if I want to, and I will do when I've got more time. The game's ready, and simply in this game here, you just drag the words in, either if nouns or verbs. Now, you could do nouns, verbs, adjectives, you could do any type of grouping. ChatGPT is great at grouping words together, and you can ask it to create all sorts of groups of words. For example, I've tried things like provide for me 10 words connected to building, 10 words connected to being a car mechanic, and 10 words connected to being a doctor, and then put in groups in like that. You can do all sorts of things with groups. It works very, very well. But what I'm gonna do now is show you how ChatGPT can link with Quizlet, and there are some great things that you can do in Quizlet with ChatGPT as well. This is a really nice idea that I had a lot of success with and I've just created a new activity for myself that I'm going to be playing. I've got 10 sentences written in Polish in the present tense and then the same sentences written in Polish in the past tense. Now I really like this activity and I've done it many, many times before. I'm going to copy those sentences and I'm going to jump over to Quizlet. Now in Quizlet, all I'm going to do is click on this button here. I'm going to click on create a new study set. I'm going to call this one uh, present and past. Present and past. And then I'm just going to paste in. Now what I need to do is click on this import button here because I've copied all the sentences. I paste them in. I click on import. And uh, I normally have to click on the very first word. Just one last little tip. Click on the first word and just make sure that it does understand that it's Polish and it's grabbed the Polish. And it's even got the definition as Polish now. And all I need now to do is to click on create. Okay. And this is great activity. 
I'm just going to stop here and I'll just play the game. So we'll do flashcards just to show you how this would work. And one thing you can do is click on the options and come down to audio. We'll turn the audio on. And now we can play this game. So what this game is, is let's just move on to the next sentence, is I've got the sentences ona servovała pilki z uh, in fact, I can listen to the sentence as well. Maybe I didn't put, turn the audio on. Let me just make sure I did. The audio should be on, so I'm surprised it didn't. Let me just make sure that it's uh, it's on term or definition. To, yeah, that should be fine. So, okay, so then what I can do is pilka z precision. Then I've got to put it in the, in the present sense because this is in the past. So what would that same sentence be in the present? I'm going to say ona servuje. I think it's servuje, and they are servuje. So it's ona servuje pilkie. So this is a really good way of practicing the past to the present or the present to the past. So if I wanted to do it the other way around, I could always just click here and put the definition first. Okay. Let's move to the next one. So you've got here regularly. Okay, so then we've got chvichimi. So I'm putting the part past is going to be regularly chvichilishmi nasha udeženia. So then I can check over and then again I've got the sentence in the past. Okay, so this is a really nice activity to kind of practice the vocabulary, do an activity where I'm obviously moving from present to the past or from past to present and trying to get my Polish verbs better. Okay, I really hope you liked that video. Please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com for more videos. You've got a whole section here at the top of different menu items, but you can also scroll down and see some of the most popular videos on the front page. If you want to keep up with my work, sign up to the newsletter. That way you'll get updated with all the latest videos that I create and put onto YouTube, but also the webinars, the online courses and the blog posts. And at the moment, if you sign up, there's a free 14-part video course in using technology and language teaching. And don't forget also, if you want to contact me about doing some training with your organization or even with you as an individual, you can contact me from the website. And thank you very much. I'm going to leave some more videos now on the screen about ChatGPT.